This new feature of the Omega AI is by far my favorite. Hey guys, Cliff Olson, doctor of audiology and founder of Applied Hearing Solutions in Phoenix, Arizona. And in this video, I'm doing a detailed review of the new Starkey Omega AI hearing aids. As expected, US-based hearing aid manufacturer Starkey has released a brand new hearing aid here this year, just one year after releasing their previous generation Edge AI hearing aids. Starkey's become really well known for pushing the advancement of new hearing aid technology thanks to their rapid release schedule. This allows Starkey to get new updates and features out on the market faster than most other hearing hearing aid manufacturers who typically follow an 18 to 24 month cycle. But, and this is a big but, are the new feature enhancements of the Omega AI hearing aids substantially better than the previous generation Edge AI hearing aids from Starkey? Well, that is exactly what I'm here to share with you guys. But before I do, do me a huge favor, click the like button, really helps out the channel. And if you are not yet subscribed to the channel with notifications turned on, go ahead and do that as well. It's greatly appreciated. And let me know down in the comments section if you think that every hearing aid manufacturer should be releasing new hearing aids every single year. Okay, let me start off this by saying that I really liked the Starkey Edge AI hearing aids because they were loaded with a ton of awesome features. They had custom options and receiver and canal options. They had disposable battery options and rechargeable options. The battery life was unbelievable. They had Edge Mode Plus. They had LE Audio and AuraCast capabilities. They were extremely durable and they have some of the best custom ear molds on the market. And honestly, you would have been really hard pressed to find a better hearing aid than the Edge AI hearing aid over the course of the past year. Now the reason I'm bringing up the Edge AI hearing aids here is because the Omega AI hearing aids are every bit as impressive as the Edge AI devices, but with some new feature enhancements. Now I should mention that it is impossible to maximize the performance of any hearing aid, no matter how many features it has, unless you've had them fit and programmed by a hearing care professional who follows comprehensive audiologic best practices. And the best way to find one of these extremely rare providers is to go to my website hearingup.com and finding a hearing up network member in your area. Hearing up members have been vetted and are committed to following comprehensive best practices to make sure that you get the maximum possible benefit from your Starkey Omega AI hearing aids. So if you want to hear your absolute best, going to a hearing up network member in your area is your best bet. Okay, so if I'm being honest, this has been one of the most difficult reviews that I've ever done on my channel. I have combed through all of Starkey's marketing material, all of their white papers with a fine tooth comb, and I've even been using these hearing aids for the past several weeks. And there is a ton going on with these hearing aids. Like I mentioned earlier, there are a lot of similarities between the Omega AIs and the Edge AI hearing aids from Starkey. In fact, if you were to do a side-by-side -side comparison of the Omega AI hearing aids with the previous generation Edge AI hearing aids, you would be really hard pressed to find any differences between the devices themselves, the chargers, the accessories, and the app connectivity. But there are feature differences, and these feature differences are primarily inside of the top tier 24 level of the Omega AI hearing aids. So let's first discuss the features that are available inside of all three technology levels, starting with the indicator lights. Okay, so one of the pet peeves that I have with rechargeable hearing aids is when they do not have an indicator light telling you when they're turning on and when they're shutting off. Now, I don't know if this drives hearing aid users crazy, but as a hearing care professional, I want to know that when I'm trying to connect these hearing aids up to my computer that I actually have them turned off and that I actually get them turned back on to successfully do that connection. Now the rechargeable MRIC hearing aids that I have right here and the RIC RT hearing aids have this new indicator light. So it flashes green there when it turns on. It can turn red when you power down the hearing aids. It flashes green when you have a successful pairing with your smart device and you can even use it to locate your lost hearing aids. This feature is actually pretty cool. So if you lose one of your Omega AI hearing aids and you want to try to find it but you don't know where you left it, you can go into the Find My Hearing Aid feature inside of the My Starkey app and when you go into that feature, this starts flashing like crazy. So you can turn off the lights, look for that flashing light inside of your house or wait till nighttime if you lost it outside and find the hearing aids that way. Let me just go ahead and show you what this looks like. I'm going to turn off the lights here real quick. How cool is that? And flashing lights there. I feel like I'm dancing with glow sticks here. You'd be able to see those things from a mile away. Now there are a couple things that I wish they did with this indicator light. So first and foremost, when you put the hearing aid back in the charger, I would love to see that light up on there and tell me that it actually made a successful connection with the charger and show me how much battery life is remaining inside of this device rather than just showing me how much battery is remaining inside of the charger itself. 
I also think that they should have added an indicator light to the custom rechargeable versions of this hearing aid. Honestly, I can't figure out why they didn't do this. Another feature improvement that I did not know that Starkey needed was their new Pro 10 Hydra Shield that replaces their Pro 8 Hydra Shield. Starkey hearing aids are already some of the most water resistant and sweat resistant hearing aids on the planet, but I guess what the hey, let's go ahead and make them even more water resistant. So they made a new waterproof coating for the Omega AI hearing aids, and I think these videos of a sponge and Alka-Seltzer tablet coated in this Pro 10 Hydra Shield tells you everything you need to know, although I suspect that the results would have been very similar if they had done this experiment with the Pro 8 Hydra Shield as well. Now to add to this durability, the custom hearing aids in the Omega Mega line are made with a new shell resin that is 20 times stronger than the previous acrylic shells from the Edge line. These shells even have some flex to them, so it's really hard to crack these hearing aids. Now while I don't recommend that you try to smash your hearing aids with a heavy object, it is kind of neat to know that you might be able to accidentally do that and have the hearing aids come out okay. Now the final upgrade that exists inside of all three of these Omega AI tech levels is the G3 Neuroprocessor. The new G3 chip replaces the previous generation G2 chip. However, while this chip may have some level of performance improvement in the lower technology levels of the Omega AI, the real feature improvements are inside of the top tier. This includes DNN 360 with the all new DNN directionality and DNN spatial awareness, as well as the generative AI smart assistant and telehear AI. But let's go ahead and dive into these DNN 360 features. All right, so just like most hearing aid manufacturers have been training a deep neural network to do better separation of speech from noise and reduce background noise, Starkey decided to take this additionally to the directionality of their hearing aid microphones. Now we know at this point that deep neural networks are much better at separating speech from noise when you train them properly. So it makes sense to train a deep neural network on how to do polar plotting to control the directionality of the microphones. So whether you're if you're in a quiet environment, you need a certain microphone configuration. If you're in a noisy environment but nobody's talking to you, you need the microphones to be doing something specific with that. If you're in a noisy environment and someone is talking to you, you need to make sure that those microphones are pointed towards that main talker. And if you're up and walking around, the microphones have to do something completely different for that as well. Your hearing aid microphones are not only supposed to just focus on speech from someone who's talking to you, but they also have to keep you aware of your surroundings at the same time. Now from a performance standpoint of these new features inside of the Omega AIs, we kind of have to separate out DNN directionality from DNN spatial awareness and the spatial adaptation mode. According to a Starkey white paper evaluating the performance of DNN directionality by Daniel Marquardt and others, which I will link in the description for you, they tested the function of their deep neural network trained directional microphones in two scenarios. One with speech coming from 90 degrees with speech babble from all other directions, and a second scenario with speech coming from in front with a competing speech signal coming from behind and speech babble from all other directions. The test they used was the hearing and noise test to determine the subject's SNR 50 score. What they found is that when they compared their DNN directionality feature with older directional microphone systems, there was a 19.6 average speech intelligibility improvement and up to a 28% median improvement. They also found up to a 77% median improvement in the second scenario versus omnidirectional microphones, but I would have preferred to see this second scenario versus other directional microphone systems rather than omnidirectional that prioritize speech from in front in a noisy situation. Now I'm pretty sure that they would have tested this, but the results did not make the white paper. And the reason I believe that they tested it is because they also did user preference and speech clarity ratings comparing DNN directionality with legacy directional microphones from all different directions. These results indicated that the majority of the time, the test subjects either rated the sound preference and speech clarity as the same or in favor of the Omega AI versus legacy tech. In another Starkey white paper by Daniel Marquardt and Larissa Taylor that I will also link in the description, the Starkey Omega AI hearing aid outperformed other brands by 1.5 to 6.5 decibels in speech reception threshold advantage with Starkey's testing protocol. Of course, this is not just showing us DNN directionality, it's basically showing us that the Omega AI hearing aids are just really good hearing aids. But 
Switching gears here for a second, away from DNN directionality, I want to start talking a little bit more about DNN spatial awareness. This new feature, which is also only available inside of the top tier 24 level of the Omega AI hearing aid, is really intended to give you better awareness of your surroundings. And based on the Marquardt white paper data, the performance should really be combined with their spatial adaptation mode. When Starkey says that this feature gives you up to an 8 decibel signal to noise ratio advantage, they are basing that off of transient speech information that just pops into your environment. Now in traditional background noise, directional microphones will tend to restrict access to sound information from behind you and next to you. Which means that if you're in that type of an environment and someone from behind you says excuse me or heads up, you're probably not going to hear them. However, if your hearing care professional activates binaural spatial adaptation in the programming software of your Omega AI hearing aids, you will be much better able to catch sounds like these in your environment. But notice, you need to make sure that this feature is on because just having DNN spatial awareness in your Omega AI hearing aids alone does not give you this 2.5 to 8 decibel improvement based on the white paper data. And this binaural spatial adaptation mode is not available in the lower technology levels of the Omega AI. Now, like I mentioned before, Starkey has also added some nice new features inside of the My Starkey app for the top tier technology level. This includes the Gen AI Smart Assistant and Telehear AI. The Gen AI assistant is pretty slick. You can basically ask your hearing aids any question that you want to and the Gen AI assistant will respond to you. You can even give it commands to make different adjustments on your hearing aids like if you want to activate edge mode, change into a different program, or even adjust your volume levels. Now I'm not going to cover this feature in great detail in this video. That really belongs inside of a My Starkey app tutorial, but it is a really cool feature that builds upon the smart assistant from the previous generation technology. The same is true for the Telehear AI feature where you can basically tell it what issues that you're having and it's going to use generative AI to determine what a potential fix is for you. And yes, it will literally make adjustments for you. Previously, you would have had to have a Telehear session with your hearing care professional, tell them what your problems were, and then have them make adjustments for you remotely, but you no longer need to go through that process in some cases. Just keep in mind that this is not going to be good enough to completely replace your hearing care professional. It at least not yet. I should also add that Starkey did add some features into the My Starkey app that are available for all of the different technology levels. This includes the balance builder feature and the respiratory rate feature. So if you're looking to build your balance or you're looking to see if you're still breathing, you have features for that now inside of the My Starkey app. And again, I'll cover these features in greater detail in a My Starkey app tutorial video. Now there are several things that haven't changed, including the edge mode plus feature. This particular feature uses Starkey's deep neural network to better separate speech from noise and reduce background noise. And even though Starkey has their always on deep neural network, this does take it to an entirely different level. To prove it to you, here's an audio sample. Ranging Our goal at Starkey is to remove the fear from hearing aid users that they'll miss out on one of life's most important moments due to running out of battery life in their hearing aids. So as you can tell, these hearing aids are really good at using artificial intelligence to help you hear better. And inside of the Omega AIs, you still get the balance assessment, you still get the tinnitus masking features, you still get tap controls, and you get two-way audio streaming. Now you may have heard me mention that I had some sound quality issues with the Omega AI hearing aids during the first day that I was testing them. I mentioned this in my announcement video. What it sounded like is that there was a bit of static in between different words that were spoken. So if I or someone else said the word cat, I would hear catch or dog sh or tree sh like it, it just had this constant like staticky sound and I couldn't figure out what it was but it turns out that I had the consonant brightness feature turned all the way up and when I turned off this feature it sounded a million times better. Now I'm sure some people may like this consonant brightness feature because it does adjust the compression speed but for me it was absolutely horrible. All right, so after a few weeks of using these hearing aids, playing around with them and seeing what they can do, what are my overall thoughts on their performance? Honestly, they're fantastic and they're on par with any other hearing aid that you wanna pair them up against. That being said, I really can't tell a whole lot of difference between these hearing aids and the Edge AI hearing aids. And I've had the opportunity to compare these hearing aids extensively. Now this is not a knock on the Omega AI hearing aids. It's basically a really big compliment to the Edge AI hearing aids that were 
were released last year. I mean, Starkey's technology is starting to get so good that it's really hard to tell a difference from one generation to the next. I'm a huge fan of Edge Mode Plus, but Edge Mode Plus sounds exactly the same to me in the Omega AI hearing aids as it did with the Edge AI hearing aids. The perceived improvements in the directionality probably do lean a little bit more towards the Omega AI hearing aids, but I'm starting to wonder if it's just a placebo effect because I know what the data says about it. Water resistance might be a little bit better in the Omega AIs versus the Edge AIs, but I would say that the durability of the custom products in the Omega line are much more durable than the Edge AI line. Wireless connectivity, LE Audio, Bluetooth, and AuraCast are the same between both of them. And I still need to perform real ear measurement on the Omegas just like I did with the Edge AI devices because the first fit settings ain't cutting it. Even the amount of noise reduction that I have inside of the programming software is exactly the same and it sounds exactly the same. As you saw earlier, even all of the accessories are the same and those accessories are amazing, I might add. And as you'll see, the My Starkey app is loaded with a ton of great features that really blurs the line between these being hearing aids and overall health devices. And it might sound silly, but my hands down favorite feature of the Omega AIs that really blow the Edge AIs out of the water is this indicator light that's on them. But overall, the new Starkey Omega AI hearing aids are absolutely fantastic hearing aids. And they should absolutely be among the top hearing aids for you to consider if you're looking to upgrade your hearing aids anytime soon, or if you're looking to treat your hearing loss for the very first time. But I wanna know what you think. Do you like all of the new feature enhancements of the Starkey Omega AI hearing aids, or would you have liked to see something different? Let me know down in the comment section, and I'll see you in the next video.